Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here coming to you on a beautiful winter's afternoon. Really looking forward to bringing you part two of the James Dean story. That's next. This one's called The Stage, coming to you from his hometown in Fairmount, Indiana. It's really, really cool. You'll want to stick around for the whole thing. Also want to thank all my subscribers at YouTube. If you like my content, if you appreciate my videos and what I'm doing, I'd be grateful if you would hit the subscribe button in the lower right of the video screen. And while you're there, click on the bell to receive the notifications as well. Like, share, all those things. And I would be further grateful if you would comment on my videos. I reach back to all my people. If you're courteous and kind enough to reach out to me, you're going to hear back from me. And so like, share, comment, and subscribe to the History Mystery Man. I'd be really grateful. In the meantime, enjoy part two of the James Dean story, The Stage. How about that really cool 1893 one-room schoolhouse in the background? Is that cool or what? Can you imagine going to school there in 1893? Reciting the lessons out loud? Ah, oh, it's so cool. So cool. Enjoy. You know, I, I, I absolutely love, and you've been here the whole time, Fairmount, right? You haven't moved? Has it been a good life for you? Yeah. You know, yeah? Would you want to live anywhere else? No. No. That's so cool. You know what? No, no, no. No. I hear you. But you have, you've had a good life all the way through, haven't you, here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a, I love the town. What really stands out to me, to me, when I look at Fairmount and I drive down the Main Street, I don't know what the name of that street is, but... Main Street. Main Street. Main street. <laughs> I should have known. North Main or South. Okay, well, when I drive down that street and I look around, what jumps out at me is, you know, you come to Fairmount, there are no... Uh, uh, you know, mega stores, no strip malls, oh, yeah. no fast food restaurants. No. And I'm, that's probably by design. Well, they'd probably let them come in if they wanted to, but no one's wanted to. Nobody, nobody wants them. No. This place is frozen in the 50s. Yeah, it is. That's, that's part of its charm. Yeah. I love it. I know. James Dean loved racing. Yes, he did. I'm wondering, so Anderson Speedway, right down the street in Anderson, Indiana, I think was built in like 1947. Do you know if he was ever there or expressed an interest in going? I don't know, but he'd been to the 500. Did he go to the 500? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now, some people say that he wanted to drive in the 500, but I don't know if that's true or not, but he, he liked race cars. He was pretty successful, too. Yeah, I know he did a lot of racing out in California. In fact, when he died, he was headed to a little race course in Salinas, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, he used to race uh, at the airports. They set up hay and sure. straw. And but you know, place in Anderson, or LA called Arms Camp. Are you familiar with that? No, not familiar with that. Yeah, in Alexandria, hmm. which is south of here, about 10 miles. Was there a racetrack there? Yeah. And he would go to that? Yeah. Oh, okay. We used to all go to that. I got gotcha. you. It was... Uh, and that track's long gone, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Do you have any, any idea what year he went to the Indianapolis 500? No, no. No? It'd have to be in the late 40s. Late 40s or, or early 50s, maybe? No, it wouldn't have been then, because he no. was in California. Okay, he had... In New York. He left in 49, didn't yeah. he? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That's really interesting. So, so what is this, a fair lane? Yeah, it's a Victoria, they call it. Gosh, fair is that... Lane, Victoria. That is beautiful. Is that an old Thunderbird back there? Yeah, 56. Wow, 56 Thunderbird. Now that tractor there, there's a picture of Jim is sitting in front of it. That, the, that orange tractor? Yeah, that's, that's a tractor that was here when Jimmy was here last time. Really? Oh, there's the picture right there. That's interesting. Yeah, I remember that photo now. So, Jimmy Dean in front of this tractor on the farm. That is, that is a beautifully restored tractor, by the way. This is really an probably an inappropriate question, but I got to ask because I'm here and I'm perfectly fine with no, I get it. 
Is there any way I, I could see his bedroom? My wife wouldn't let you in the house. Okay, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I understand. <laughs> I mean, I'm just so curious, and I'm here, and I had to ask, but I, I certainly respect. It's still in the house. <laughs> it's still there. His bedroom is still in the house. That's good to know. It's upstairs, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, when he left and went to California, that was my room. Was it? Yeah. And, of course, I was in it for uh, about 15 years. And then when I got married and left, all of a sudden it was Jimmy's old room again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's in it now? I mean, it's no, just it's nothing. Just a bedroom suit. Just a bedroom, bedroom suit. Bedroom suit's still there. Okay. Too bad the missus wasn't like uptown today and I could sneak in there, but I don't, <laughs> see, I don't see that happening. But, uh, Warner Brothers Studio gave you all those photos? Wow. There's a lot of them up there, a lot of them that I've never seen. That is so interesting. Huh. Look at all those photos from Warner Brothers. Guys have this decked out beautifully out here. It's really impressive. What's that? That's a 1929 Model A Ford. That's a Model A, okay, 29. What a, uh, ooh, that's a Mercury. 1950. 1950 Mercury. What a beautiful collection. These tractors, Massey Ferguson. I used to work for Massey Ferguson. Oh, you did? And those were the kind of tractors we were selling at the time. Mm -hmm. My son restored them. Really? Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah, they look like brand new. Don't they? Oh, my God. How old are they? Uh, 50 years old. 50 years old, and he restored all three of those? Mm -hmm. God, I can't imagine how much work that was, especially to bring it to the condition they are. Yeah. They're, They're gorgeous. Old. They're better than new for the paint's concerned. Wow. So nice. And then that international there's his. This one over here? Yeah. And he restored it as well? Yeah. Wow. Do you do you think about your cousin a lot? I mean, do you reflect on him a lot? I mean, do you lose yourself in thought over James Dean? Sometimes. Yeah. Wondering what would be if he was still living. The whole world's wondering that. That's part of the lure <laughs> of coming here. I mean, he was only 24. Yeah. And the accident wasn't his fault. Somebody turned into him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would have loved to have known him. You're one of the fortunate ones. Yeah, most of them that didn't know him were dying off now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have to, we're going to keep you alive for another 100 years. <laughs> we <laughs> we got to have you, Marcus. Being that we uh, had the stage rebuilt, we bought 4,000 bricks. The, from the old high school the old during high school. the demolition? Yeah, yeah. W what do you get for a brick? Well, we're selling them right now for about 30 bucks. Really? Mm -hmm. Good for you. We have 450 left to sell. That's all right. I say we got to get out of my pool barn <laughs> before I die. You know? Are you from Fairmount? Yes, I was born and raised in Fairmount. Really? How have you uh, liked living here all, over the years? Fairmount's the best town there was. <laughs> we did live out in New Mexico for about six years, but we came back. Were you glad this to come is... back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I, I, re I was graduated in 1966 from Fairmount. Oh. I had Adeline. So you went to that old high school? Oh, yeah. That's really neat. Sure I'm old. <laughs> You're just getting started. All right. Well, I'm excited to see the stage. And uh, so Bob Dylan got in the house, but not the history mystery man. Maybe next time. <laughs> what has Bob got that I don't, huh? Well, you get as famous as he is. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm on my way, mister. <laughs> okay. That's a fair deal. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this and your time. I know you've been bombarded with geeks like me over the years constantly and uh, i appreciate you getting me into sure it's okay <laughs> thank you so much this has uh, meant a lot to me i'm so grateful uh, i know what i wanted to ask you were there any particular buildings in town like on main street that he would 
spend, spend a, a good bit of time in? Or did he have a hangout down there that you know of? Probably the old Shell filling station. The old Shell filling station? Yeah, it's on Washington Street. Is it still there? Mm -hmm. Really? It's not, it, the building's there, it's not open anymore. But it's on? It's on, it's about uh, east three, yeah, three blocks east of downtown. Okay. W were there any houses of friends he hung out in a lot that are still there? The there so. There's a house um, on Main Street that's got a for sale sign in front of it. He used to go there a lot. That's where the guy lived that was with him when his feet shifted that and oh. made a clicking noise and a transformation. He used to hang out so, in that house? Yeah, for sale. Do you know where it is? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, You'll have to point that out to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Y any hobbies that you have outside of... Right here. Right here? You're pretty good at that. <laughs> You're very good at that. This farm is a giant hobby. Yeah, it is. It's... it's you know, I, I believe it. Yeah. Well, it's so well-preserved. I mean... Yeah, thank you. I mean, has the home inside been remodeled, or is it very much unique uh, to its time? Pretty much the same. Pretty much yeah, the same. Yeah. Okay. Of course, we've remodeled the kitchen. And oh, the of course. And, but uh, the basic part of the house is the same. Yeah. I like that red truck back there, too. What's that? It's a 1954 International. Well, that's one you don't see a lot of. An International? Yeah. A 1950? 54. International. I'm gonna go but peek at that. Dad had one just exactly like that. Really? Brand new, yeah. Wow. I don't know that I've ever really looked up and up close and personal to an international, a 1954 international. Man, that thing is huge. That is really spectacular. A 1954 international. The bed on it is huge. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, how nice. Is this spectacular or what? Is there anything about James Dean that you've never told anyone? No. No, that you, you, <laughs> <laughs> you've unloaded everything, haven't you? <laughs> oh, Lord. I wish I could have known him. I mean, I, I wonder... How does someone from Fairmount, Indiana, make it to the silver screen? How, how did he do it? A lot of work. He worked hard, didn't he? Yeah, he it, was, determined to get what he wanted. And he wasn't just a good-looking guy that yeah. say, you belong up there. He worked for it. Yeah. So that's a print of a painting that... Yeah, there's where he signed it. Wow, I didn't know he could paint. Yeah, he's a good painter. James Dean painted that? Yep. And that's a print from it. Yep. That is really interesting. There's a book you have. He was really into literary art or, or oh, literary, yeah. uh, all the great literary authors. And yeah. yeah, he was into that sort. And I heard M M Mambo drums. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to let me have this book? Yep. Oh, thank you so much. That is so cool. Wow. You guys have kind of like a southern accent here. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy oh, Dean didn't have a southern accent. Okay. <laughs> or did he hide it a little bit? He, he hid it. Did he? Yeah. So he had a little hillbilly in him, huh? Oh, yeah. And of course, I know what that is. That's where the old high school used to live. That It's demolished now. It's gone. But that's where James Dean went to high school at that site. Graduated in 1949. Wish it was still there. This is a list of all the names of people that's donated money so we could have this built. What? Anybody that donated ten dollars up to thirty thousand dollars. Really? Ten to thirty thousand that's a pretty widespread. See, yeah. A gentleman came one Sunday and bought two pins off of me and wanted to know how our funding was. I said we got thirty-five thousand dollars at a place in Marion to raise money for this and I need another 35000 I brought him out here. I showed him where we was going to put it 
And he said, you know, she said, I've been blessed with a million dollars. If I give you 30,000, can you come up with the other 5,000? I said, sure, I can do that. <laughs> you know, and that was on a Sunday and a Wednesday. A lady called me up and she said, who do we make the check payable to? And I said, for what? How much? And she said, $30,000. Wow. I couldn't even find the paperwork. I had my wife come in and help me, you know, and, and he, they wrote a check and he brought it to me. God, that's wonderful. And we sat in my living, or in my kitchen, we talked and so he, I, he said, there's just one thing I want to ask from you. And I said, what's that? I don't want to, I want to remain anonymous. I don't want anybody to know my name. And I said, you have my word. Everybody's tried to get that out of me, but you know, man is only good as his word. He brought me the check over and two days later, I had the other $5,000. So in September the 23rd on Saturday at noon, I had all the remaining living class of 49. My sister was one of them. She had one date with Jimmy Dean in high school. Is your sister still alive? Yes, she just turned 90. Wow, and, and uh, she dated Jimmy Dean. Yep, had one date with him. And uh, then we had all the town board members and we had a dedication. Mark Winslow spoke and David Knoll, the son of Adeline Knoll spoke. We dedicated this back to the town. So now we are able to use it rent free and the uh, town board's been very generous to allow us to do that. We, made, we bought 4,000 bricks. For, is that are the bricks from the old school? From the old high school. Old high school. That's really neat. And, uh, the, so what do you call this? An entertainment this center? Is a pavilion. We call it the pavilion. James D. Memorial Stage. On the other end of the building, if you look up, you'll see this. Okay, James okay. Dean Memorial yeah. Stage. All donations. All the money donated, yeah. How cool. All the, all the boards in front of the stage opening is all original. Now this is the original yes. high school stage right. that James Dean performed on in high school in theater. Correct, correct. The archway is all original. Archway the, up there? Yeah, the ar black archway. Wow. Really, here's the original piece from high school. Yeah. They sat it down and redid it. A railing original from the high school. Yep. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. The lights in the, on the ceiling here mm -hmm. is the original lighthouse. Lights from uh, high school. Stage lights on. Ooh, Lord. This is the original stage floor oh, yeah. that James Dean performed on as a high school student. Wow. This is so interesting. So we lost the high school, but you saved the stage. That is, I'm so glad you guys made made the effort to get this done. The light housing is all original. The light housing is original? Uh -huh. Came out of high school. Really? The town brought these three lights. All the light housing is original. I'm gonna show you the different kind of lights you can have. You can have that. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's you know that. Yeah, that really changes it up. That. Ooh, that's glowing now. <laughs> wow. You can have that. Whoa. <laughs> Whatever you want. It's just so neat that this is preserved. Yeah, we had a contractor come in and, and uh, he said, first thing we're going to do is sand it. I said, no, no. we're not going to sand it. Heck no. And, uh, Heck no. You know that. Another guy in and he goes, First thing you don't want to do is sand it. That's right. <laughs> exactly. You want to, this is how it was when I was in high school. And you want to and keep this it. This is how everybody wants it. James Dean fans want it this way. And uh, he cleaned it and put three coats of polyethylene on it. <laughs> and uh, that's how it turned out. What would James Dean think of all this? I think he'd be pretty proud to think that. Of course. Some, some organization had the vision to see what part of history was like and this way bands and plays and whoever wants to use it they have to go through the town council but they can still use it today yeah. i'm thankful to you jake who uh helped spearhead this thing to preserve it yeah, it's I my mean, pleasure that's wonderful it's i'll tell you one thing i had no idea what i was getting myself into <laughs> i had no idea how much time and work yeah. that was involved in doing something like it Something like this, I've never done before. Isn't that always the case, but though? Somebody had to spearhead it. You know, Hollywood, they had a lot of great ideas for the high school. They couldn't get enough money. 
And, but I think it just takes, I'm not bragging, I don't mean this, I don't because I don't like braggers, but it just takes somebody from around here to spearhead something to that would that appreciates James Dean, appreciates the uh, stage or the old high school. They care about it. And I was just that I just happened to luck out, you know. Yeah, well we thank but you. I had a lot of people behind me and maybe ahead of me to help push along. I know one time my wife told me, she said, you know, you may as well just give up on this project. You've been working on it for seven years and you haven't got the money yet. I said, yeah, you're probably right. Well, before I went to bed that night, I asked God what he wanted me to do. Because here's the deal. $35,000 was donated from people all over the world. They could go online and make a donation. If I would quit now, I'd let all those people down. So I just asked God for his help, and I can't do it, only he can do it, and I believe in God, and uh, that's what happened. And that, at that moment in time, a private donor literally stepped up and said, "Yeah, here's 30000 Right, $30,000, wow. I had people tell me that before, and I, so I kind of took it with a great assault, but I know this gentleman, so he, he's really a remarkable person to be able to stand up for yeah what he believes into you know well, this is a fantastic story yeah and we appreciate all you did to help preserve yeah, this really cool stage where james dean learned his craft hm. super thank you so much thank you what, what do you guys do on the stage i mean you have live bands yeah, and we such had live bands. we had uh, first year we had four bands and uh, I contacted four bands and asked if they'd come and play for free because we didn't have any money. And they agreed to it and they came. And so I went to my co-chairman and I said, by the way, would we have to have any money left over from the stage project? He said, yeah, we got 1200 bucks. <laughs> I said, I'd like to pay each band $300. What do you think? He said, that's a great idea. So after they perform, we have them check for 100 bucks each. They didn't want to take it, but I said, yeah, you, you've got expense here, and we're just thrilled we can do it. So That's awesome. Every year after that, I'm the one that goes out and asks people for money. Do you ever have any, like, plays on it or theater uh, performances or anything like that? I think there was a group, I don't remember they were from IW or where, but they, uh, they did have some plays on here several years ago. Yeah. And, uh, well, if they ever do Rebel Without a Cause, I want to audition for the lead role. Okay, you I'll hear me? It. Okay, I'll, I'll make you sure do you that. Know okay. <laughs> oh, Lordy. How long have you known Marcus? I've known Marcus all my life. Have you really? Yeah. Um, He's a neat guy. The whole family, they're just, hey, they've been really good to me and to the Lions Club. Salt of the earth, yeah. what they are. They're, just they're wonderful. People. Yeah, these two boys, his wife, just they're just beautiful people. I'm just so blessed to be able to, be able to go out there. I go out there usually, you know, a couple times a month, and Sunday evening, and have popcorn and water out and drink pop. Well, if, if they'll ever have me back after all that, I'd love to sit right and drink a Dr. Pepper with yeah, Marcus. Right and watch TV with them. And yeah. Stuff. They're just ordinary people. They're I people. know. But they're so they're so Americana. Oh yeah, that farm is so beautiful. It is beautiful, and, and it just it it speaks America. Yeah, and, and and the quality of those people and that family is just second to none. Yeah. I just it's been wonderful. It's awesome people, you know. Yeah, I can tell. And they care a lot about everything. I know, I can tell. Yeah, super. It's a pleasure doing it. You know.